Are you happy with your life? Like really happy with your life? Like insanely happy with your life? If not, why not? Do you know you actually have the power to change your own life and you can do it in quick succession? In fact, by the end of today's video, I will have taught you how to change your life from where you are now to where you want to be. And I want to welcome you to this episode of Going Deeper. And I am your host, John Morris. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own John Morris. Well, hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Going Deeper. I'm your host, John Morris, and today we are talking all about the power of thoughts. Now, as I said right at the beginning of the show, today, in today's show, I am going to teach you how to change your life, probably within the next 15 seconds or so. It is something that when you latch onto this piece of information, that you will literally never, ever, number one, forget it, but number two, you will know how to harness that power in order to change your life. Do you know you actually have the power to change your life right now? If you're still watching this, it means that you believe me and you haven't clicked off. Many people will have just clicked off. In fact, probably 90% of the people watching this in the first 10 seconds will have clicked off. Why? Because they don't believe they have the power to change their own lives and because they're choosing to stay exactly where they are. Right now, I want to teach you how to change your life. And it's this. You can change your life by changing your thoughts. How do I know this? Well, let me tell you. What we think we become, the Bible says it, every spiritual book on the entire face of the planet will say this in one form or another, as a person thinks, so they become. It doesn't say you become and then you think. No, it says so a person thinks and then they become. Now what does that mean? Well, what it, what it means is you become what you think about. Whatever you give attention to will manifest, will magnify, will grow in your life. Now what happens here? We've got a million thoughts that are flying around our brains each and every single day and oftentimes people are just reacting 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 as opposed to I'm going to choose what I think about you literally can condition yourself to choose what you think about but the problem is this isn't taught in schools it's not taught in courses it's not taught around the world that you literally can choose what you think of so let me give you an example here but before we get there I've got to get you guys clear as to what, what, what are thoughts really? That, that's the first part. As we always say, you know, medieval battles, they would always get to know their enemy. What are thoughts? Thoughts are the ideas and the concepts that you choose to pick on. Now, if you imagine, for example, up in my head are millions and millions of ideas, okay, all floating around, but let's narrow them down to positive and negative. Some could be, uh, you know, food, some could be uh, sport, some could be exercise, some could be sexual, some could be, you know, uh, medicinal, some could be this, 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 okay, some could be going for a walk, some could be enjoying nature, some could be painting. I literally have the choice to choose what I focus upon. And I can choose those different thoughts. And I've done this by conditioning my mind. I want to tell you how this impacts on a person's life. And if you don't believe that what you conceive in your internal world will mirror itself in your external world, I want you to look around you. And I want you to honestly say to yourself now, am I happy where I live? Am I happy really? And I mean, get stone cold honest with yourself. Are you really happy with where you're at, with the house that you live in, the car that you drive, the way that you look, the way that you feel, the way that you talk about people, the things that you do? Does it mirror up to what five-year-old you would have wanted? And if you can't honestly say no, or if, sorry, if you can't honestly say yes, then keep listening to this. Our thoughts literally impact our lives. And I'm going to tell you a story now. I've, I've started to become more public about this. I left my previous employment in 2016. I was a youth worker. Um, I had been very unwell. I had had to deal with a whole lot of political nonsense and stuff that was going on there. And it was really a horrible situation. There was very little support there. 
and I was angry. Now, folks, um, I know it's, I know it's you know popular these days to be big, macho, tough, and brash, and all that kind of stuff, and literally be standing there saying, "Yeah, I'm this, I'm that." Let me tell you now, there is nothing more dangerous than an unguarded thought, but there is also Nothing more dangerous than a person that doesn't know how to deal with their anger. I didn't. Plus, I'm an artist, so it'd be very, very creative, and I have dyspraxia. So those two things mean that my brain is slightly wired in a very, very different way, which is both a blessing and not a blessing. Okay, I'm not going to use the other word, because I don't see it that way. I literally, for four years, okay, was going through so much stuff. I was making bad decisions. I was making, you know, in fact, scratch that, I was making horrific decisions. I literally had just, just descended into, into craziness because I was so angry, I was so annoyed at how could he do this and how could he do that and how could my boss behave that way and how could he stir all this stuff up and how could he lie to me, da, 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 you know, on and on and on and on, asking really dumb and unwise questions. And guess what? The majority of the face of the population does exactly the same thing. They ask unwise questions. That's another topic for another day. But, I literally was creating a toxic environment. Yes, professionally, I use that to drive me on, to build the art school, to develop my artwork, to, to build a lot of things, but internally and relationally, I was crumbling. I was in a horrible situation. Um, I was, I, like I said, I was doing, and I'm not gonna go into the details because you don't need to know, um, but I was making bad decisions for myself and you know, just, just personally and, and just a lot of things that were going on. And then I got to a point where I was like, right, I need to start dealing with this. So I stopped talking about it. I stopped thinking about it. I stopped focusing on it. What happened there? Well, there was, there was a brief reprieve and I was, you know, much happier and because I wasn't focusing on it. There was, you know, that, that, that time I was actually smiling and I was feeling good. And as long as we didn't talk about the things that had happened in the past, I was fine. But it was never truly gone. Until this past January. Where, and, and the, the, you know, they always say that you'll be provided for when you're ready to receive it. So what happened was this. I somehow, don't ask me how, but found a teacher online that I was listening to. And I sat there and listened to him and within 24 hours or less, my life had completely changed. And I mean that genuinely. We are now eight weeks on in this program that I've developed for myself, that I'm developing for other people. My wife, if she was here now, it's her birthday today, so we're really excited. Um, we're actually having a birthday dinner. She's on the phone to her mom, so I'm, I'm busy doing this. But literally my life had changed completely from being the pessimist to being the optimist. I want to tell you guys you know, some of the plans that we're working on. There's one that I can't tell you on until it's all finalized and all done and dusted. But it's a big thing for me, okay? Um, and I'm so excited about it because I was told for years that this would never ever happen for me. And I decided, you know what, I'm going for this. I sat down with my wife and I said, you know what, this is what we're doing. Let's figure out the plan, let's figure out the, um, all the different, you know, steps that we need to take and everything else. And I'm going for it. And I'll tell you what it is, but I'll tell you after March 18th. And I'm really excited about it. Because not just for me, but because of lives that it's going to change around the world. Some people already know, and it's one to secrecy, other people don't know. It's not a public thing. Anyway, getting back to you guys. My life has changed completely to the point I wake up in the morning, I'm hungry to be fed mentally. I do not have the life-limiting beliefs anymore that are there. And I want to give you a, just, just a quick story here on how changing your thoughts can change your life. Last year, 2020, in a year where everybody around the world seemed to be running around in chaos, there were some people in some groups that was finding amazing opportunities. We were one, well, we, we, we were two of them, Katie and I. And the decision that we made was this, you know, we're going to continue working, we're going to continue being focused. And a member of our team, Joan, 
She approached me with an idea, have you ever thought about writing a book? And I came forward and said, yeah, let's write a book. I've got some material here and there, and I did, and it was called The Battles We All Face, which is available at thebattlesweallface.com forward slash shop. It's our bestseller. From there, I decided, you know, I, I, I want to, you know, release this just before Christmas, which we did, but I don't just want to leave people, you know, by themselves after this is all done and dusted and after it's all finished. So I said, what can I do to make sure that people are getting ongoing support? Because you know what it's like, you read a book and then you finish reading the book and you move on to the next one. And it impacts you, the book impacts you, but if you don't take that lasting change like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, you just go back to where you were before. So that's when Mind, Body and Soul was born. And then the podcast was born. I got to speak to some of the biggest names around the world. Professionals, celebrities, actors, artists, musicians, wrestlers. Wrestlers' wives, wrestlers' families. It was amazing. From there, I got to know my business partner. Her name is Laurie Bischoff. She's got her own show. In fact, she was, she was number two on our show. And Laurie is going to be working with me as we coach teens. And if you've heard me talk you know, before, when I do the introduction, I'm the coach for the creative mind, specializing in teens, adults, and creative minds. But ultimately for teenagers, because that is where it begins. That is where the life-changing stuff can begin. And I can use my 20 years, my two decades experience to help these guys and girls. That is the power of thought. I have seen really clearly for the next three years what we're gonna be doing, for the amount of people I'm gonna be coaching one-on-one, -on -one, the amount of people we're gonna be coaching in groups, the amount of things that we're gonna be doing. And yes, there are gonna be obstacles along the way, of course there are. But when you get really focused on your thoughts, Amazing things can happen. Now, I could have chosen to stay being negative. Yes, I could have built up a business. My marriage would have probably ended. My family would have probably gone with it. How no, who knows how long I would have been able to stay in business. Certainly wouldn't be living in the nice house that I live in now. I'm excited, excited and passionate about the goals that we've got going forward. All that happened because I took control of my thoughts. And you can too. I want you to visualize it like this. This is, this is the, the, the final thing. There, there are two things here. There's action and reaction. There's essentially cause and effect. There's consequences to every action that whatever way you want to put it, okay? Whatever you do, you reap what you sow more than what you sow and later than what you sow. To quote an amazing teacher of mine, you reap what you sow more than what you sow later than you sow. So make sure you're sowing good things. I want you to imagine now, as we wrap up here, that your life is like a plot of ground, a plot of earth, an old allotment, whatever you want to call it. You've got a field, okay? You're standing in the middle of the field. Now, if you just stand there looking around, it's not going to do very much. You'll grab some weeds here and there. The rains will come, but it'll do nothing. If you start sowing some seeds, You'll get some beautiful plants, some beautiful vegetables, some beautiful flowers growing up. But if you start really taking care of the land, if you start really tulling the, the earth, you'll be amazed at what can come up. And you, 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 you create it. All of this that you see is a reflection of your state of mind. I've worked with people recently that said, oh, I, I could never, um, you know, get my, my own business because, uh, because I, I would lose my, uh, I'd lose my government state benefits. Okay, this person's in debt, heavily in debt. Nearly lost a house. I said, what about if you did this? And the response was, oh, I could never do that because, you know, number one, I'm on disability, but number two, you know, I'd lose my state benefits. What about if you earned 10 times what the state benefits were? Oh, well, 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 I could never do that, I could never do that. Another person had a traumatic experience when they were younger. They're now in their 50s and are still focusing on that. 
And this lady said to me, you know, I'm overweight. I smoke. I live in a horrible house. I basically shack up with anybody that I can. Just to feel a little bit of love and affection. I said, what about if we work together and we can actually, because it starts in the thoughts, it starts in the mind, and therefore it must be treated in the mind. If you don't deal with these things, eventually these things will deal with you. What you sow into your plot of ground, if it's hatred, you are going to get hatred. If it's negativity, you're going to get negativity. But if it's love and it's fruitfulness and it's, and it's daily work towards serving and helping and bringing up your value into the marketplace, into the world, you'll be amazed at what can come back. When people see, number one, that you're honest, but number two, that you are really willing to help them, amazing things can happen. And when you touch a person's life and when you touch a person's soul, in an amazing way that they get it, and their life begins to change, you'll want more of it, because it's addictive. When someone shares their deepest, darkest secrets with you in the attempt that you can help them, or that you can be there for them, or you can listen to them, or that you can care about them, amazing things will happen. But it all starts with a thought that leads to a feeling that leads to an intention, that leads to an action. Thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions. And it just goes round and round and round and round. If you feel you're angry, if you're thinking, in fact, if you think I am angry at my old boss for doing this, that leads to my feelings, right? Well, now I feel angry. That leads to my intentions. I conceive in my mind that I could get in a car and run him over, tie him behind the car and drag him along. And that leads to your actions, which is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. It has to be stopped in your thoughts. And the way to do that is either coaching yourself, teaching yourself, developing your own IQ. Google and YouTube are the two biggest libraries for media in the entire world. Use them wisely. Or get yourself a life coach. And you know that I'm here, I'm available, I'm a life coach of the creative mind, a psychologist in training. It is so important that you get this fundamental thing. If you're serious about wanting to change your life and your mind, you need to get this done. Get in touch with us if we can help at thebattlesweallface.com and I would love to hear from you. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of today's show, folks. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Going Deeper, The Power of Your Thoughts. Your thoughts will literally hurt, hinder, or enable you to get to where you want to be. My thoughts and my brain has been unlocked, and I hope and pray that yours will be too. Have an amazing day, folks. Don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe, tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of need and their time of darkness. If you've got any questions for us, get in touch with us at the bottom uh, of the box below. And as always on social media, Facebook and on Instagram and thebattlesweallface.com and every all that other good stuff. And if you're interested in life coaching, we've got an ad coming at the end of the show. Have an amazing day, guys. Take care. God bless. Take power and the control over your own thoughts and stop blaming other people. It is your responsibility. I'll catch you soon. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, 
I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks, take care, God bless and I will see you soon.